Remember the death of vinyl in the 80s? CDs promised better sound and fewer hassles. And in the studios, musicians were all going digital. But now, 10 years into the CD era, a small but growing number of people are noticing that something isn't quite right with the sound on CDs. And for many artists, the blush is off of the digital recording craze. I started off as a uh, total digital convert, thinking the world was a brighter, safer place for musicians. Now I'm much more um, balanced between the two. There's some things that you get from analog which still sound a lot better. Now we really needed good control over the sound, and we got that with digital, but we lost the sound. We don't have the sound anymore, unfortunately. It's gone. What does that mean, the sound is gone? The hype on digital was that it was the perfect solution to all audio problems. No hissing tape or fragile vinyl to contend with, and it would last forever. Digital has certain perfect things about it. It immediately solved all the problems of analog, background noise, hiss, wear, uh, pitch control, all of those things. However, it created hundreds of other problems that everybody was willing to ignore. Audiophiles say that while digital provides sound that is crisp and clear, it misses subtleties in the sound that analog recording and vinyl captured. In analog, sound is converted into analogous electrical waves. In digital, instead of a continuous wave, you get samples of the wave, 44,100 samples per second. So by definition, when you listen to digitized music, you're not hearing all the music, just slices of it. 44.1 thousand times a second sounds like a very high number, but it really isn't. It's barely sufficient. And so a lot of stuff gets lost. It's a very rough approximation. You could say that some of the sound is falling through the cracks. There are things being left out, the air, the ambience, the reverberation, nuances of voices, inflections, little things that when you play the record, you go, ah, there it is. It's not on the CD. This is sensory deprivation is the main description of digital sound. You think you're getting it, but you're not. Wait a second, you say. You like the way your CDs sound. In fact, CDs generally sound better than vinyl on the average turntable, and cassettes are just dubs made from digital masters. It takes a good stereo with a good turntable to hear the subtleties that CDs seem to miss. We heard a vinyl copy of Smells Like Teen Spirit that definitely had more kick than the CD. But some people are not convinced. The reason people who go analog, who try digital and say digital is no good and go back to analog, is because they suck, because they can't play. And digital reveals the fact that you can't play. Dave, that's one of the silliest things I've ever heard. I mean, that really doesn't make any sense. Whether it's analog or digital, certain qualities of how your performance will come through. If anything, the analog format has more nuance and detail in it, not digital. Digital sample. Analog is a continuous thing. Perhaps the best way to make digital sound more like a continuous thing is to have more samples per second. The technology exists to do that now, but until such a system can be made compatible with current CDs, we're unlikely to get it. So what does it all mean? For audio fanatics, digital may have been a step backwards, and they've still a reason to buy vinyl. But